Hey everyone and welcome to the Wreath Workshop. I am Ashley Greenwood from Three Little Greenwoods Creations. I am a former kindergarten teacher, turned wreath maker, turned small business owner, and now I am sharing my love of wreath making with all of you. So welcome. If you are watching right now, you might be watching on Facebook because I'm going to take this video that I share with my TikTok community and share it over on Facebook. So if you're watching on Facebook, please type in hashtag replay and let me know where you're watching from. Today we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to go over some Walmart goodies that I got at my local Walmart and we're going to make a really small and quick arrangement for Christmas. We are full on Christmas here in my wreath workshop. I just packed up the majority of my fall and I'm getting out all of my Christmas. I'm trying to organize, which has been a struggle because I am really good at buying things and loving all the things I bought and not so hot at organizing and putting it all away. So before we get started, I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun, my hot glue skillet. Oh my goodness. I do not use a hot glue gun. I only use a hot glue skillet. Everyone is always so curious about it. So let me just show you what it is. So this is my hot glue skillet. I'm going to turn it on so I can make my little arrangement. It is simply a small electric skillet. It's about eight inches square that I purchased from Amazon. You can see I just threw some hot glue sticks in here earlier today before I turned it off. So they're halfway melted into the hot glue skillet. I'm going to turn on my hot, my hot glue skillet and let it warm up. I turned it all the way on high. I'm going to let it just sit and do its thing. If it begins to smoke, I will turn it down a little bit. I'll give it a little bit of stir, but I just usually just leave it alone and let it do its thing. So that is what I use to make my reeds and my floral arrangements. You can get it on Amazon. It is listed in my Amazon storefront here in my profile on TikTok. Let's see what I got from Walmart. As you guys are joining me, I'd love for you to let me know where you are watching from. I always love to see where everyone is. I am in my home in South Carolina. So drop me a line and let me know where you guys are watching from. So I went to my Walmart because I heard that Walmart's got super cute Christmas things that go in wreaths, cute ornaments, yada, yada, yada. I was a little disappointed in what my Walmart had but there were a couple of things that I just loved. Hello, Wyoming and Kansas and Long Island. Hey, Eastern Kentucky. I'm going to be going to a wedding in Kentucky in November. Hello from South Carolina, California. Welcome, welcome. So, two things that I got that I thought were super cute. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe put them in a wreath, maybe put them in a floral arrangement. So, hello, Missouri. Well, hey, Tammy, I see you. Okay, so check these out. Are these not the cutest things? They are little plush reindeer. If you don't know, red and white are super, super trendy this year. Red and white for Christmas, it's all the thing, which I'm here for it because red is my favorite color. And I've been decorating our Christmas tree, our family Christmas tree with red and white for a couple of years. So these are super cute. These were $5 a piece, which is great. So I'm thinking they would be really cute in an evergreen, kind of nestled into the greenery with a big bow and lots of great greenery around it. You could put these in top of an arrangement and kind of settle them, nestle them down in there and build up around them. So I got two of these. There were only a few at my local Walmart, so I only got two, but these are really cute. They're for soft. I love them. I'm gonna use them. I don't know what for, but I'm gonna use them. Hello, New York. Welcome. Hey, my Texas people. Hello, Michigan. Yeah, for a table centerpiece, wouldn't that be cute? Like in your kitchen, I have a, um, a hutch with some floating shelves in my kitchen, and this would be really cute and uh, an arrangement or just like sitting on a shelf with some pretty little things around it. So those two things 
came from my Walmart. And then I only found one other thing that I just, I had to have. And I was shocked at how big it was. So all my Reethi friends are posting about their Walmart hauls and the things that they got or the things that they saw at their Walmart. This was something that I really wanted it, wanted, but I had no idea it would be so big. Isn't he just the prettiest thing? So this is a cardinal. It's foam. This is all foam. Um, this is going to be really, really cute nestled in a wreath. He was $13 super big. I was looking all on the shelves for something that was about that big. I, and then I found this and I was shocked at how large it is. Very pretty, very bright. Seems to be well made. He's foam all up in here. So he's supposed to go on top of a Christmas tree. I think. I think they call him, yeah, Red Bird Tree Topper. If you wanted to look this up online, I would look for Holiday Time which is the um, the section, the Christmas section, and Red Bird Tree Topper. He is big. Yeah, I did not expect, <laughs> did not expect him to be this big. I only got one. There were only like two in my store. We have another Walmart that's near me. I'm gonna go and check their that Walmart out to see if they had any more cute stuff. But I'm gonna be using this in a wreath i need to get some cardinal ribbon so if anybody seen any really pretty cardinal ribbon out there let me know all right let's get busy with our project for today so someone has a tree with cardinals it's really cute it's very sweet just imagine okay listen so what if you bought like three of these and you nestled them in the branches of your christmas tree you know like in a triangular pattern on the front of your tree that would be really pretty I'm kind of liking that. Somebody needs to get that. Go get you three of these. Nestle them in with your red and white ornaments. It would be so very pretty. Okay, so here's today's project. I got my glue going, making sure it's all good and happy. I got these little snowmen mugs from a local store. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to jazz them up because they need a little help no way hey sweet girl designs guys that's kayla from sweet girl designs she makes beautiful wreaths it's in your grocery delivery today oh my goodness that is so awesome yeah he's super big kayla really big you're gonna go tomorrow, go get you one, or order it online, or do like Kayla did and get it on the grocery pickup. So these are little ceramic pieces, cute little snowmen. I thought I could bend this, but I don't think I can bend his arm. I think that this would be really cute jazzed up. Where did I find these? These are actually from a wholesale company that I purchased from. I got them months and months and months ago. So they probably don't have them anymore. But let's jazz them up. They're already pretty cute. Okay, so they've got little marshmallows, some peppermint sticks coming out. It is not July. What are you talking about? Um, got these two, we're gonna jazz up. Hey Laverne, welcome to the wreath workshop. Let's cut our tags off. Okay, as I make, I always put my tags in my little cups to keep track of how much money I have put into each of my projects. Let's just cut these off. I'm gonna make these both at the same time. Oh no. Y'all look. Oh, drat. Can you see it? Um, oh, I might be able to fix it. Maybe, maybe not. It's Christmas season. It's the best time of the year, even though I've got my fall, fall shirt on today. So we're going to make these at the same time so that they will be similar so that I can list them in my Etsy shop. Okay, that's the goal. 
I've got some picks. These came from Michael's last year. They're just some red and white picks. Super cute, a little fun. I wanted to add some height, so I grabbed these silver tinsel sprays from Hobby Lobby. Let me set those aside. I looked through my stash and I got some cute little candy pieces that are kind of coming unraveled, but we can fix that. These also came from Hobby Lobby. I got them last year, but I'm pretty sure they have these as well. These are last year. They were $4 a pick from Hobby Lobby. They probably have gone up because everything has gone up a dollar or two. Got a piece of this. This is some boxwood from Walmart. It's just three little sprigs. We're gonna use these. Can you order those marshmallows? I don't know. They came from Sims Pottery. If you already have an account with them, they might still have them. I'm not sure. And then I grabbed this really pretty ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it has a little bit of a wire in it. It's just a, I think it's a 7 8 inch ribbon. We might put a bow on the side. We might not. So I like to look for pieces like this that I can jazz up really quick, really easy. I can use pieces and parts from leftover projects and um, just make something cute with it. We call these shop fillers. So if you are an Etsy shop owner or if you have your own business, you might want to look for just something small that you can add uh, some embellish embellishments to to sell in your Etsy shop or your storefront. So that's my plan with this cute little guy. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have two little styrofoam marshmallows. The one on the other one is broken. I think I'm just gonna cut it out as I work. We've got some little sparkly balls, some little glitter balls, and two peppermint sticks coming out of the top. Now, these two coming out of the top kinda look unbalanced to me, so I am going to add a piece of um, the sparkly glitter spray in the back. Well, hello, I'm so glad TikTok sent you to me. Let's cut the tag off. Put it in my little cup. Always click, always keep track of your tags. I am having a hard time talking today. Wait a minute, Hobby Lobby has Cardinal ribbon? Really? Okay, I'm gonna have to go look. They hate to see me coming. I go there first thing in the morning when it's just me and the worker people and my buggy is always overflowing. So I'm gonna take this piece and put it in the back. Did I make this snowman? No, I bought this pre-made. So it has some embellishments in it, but it needs some help. It needs a little bit of jazzing up. Inside of this ceramic pot is styrofoam, which makes, yeah, makes my job so much easier. I'm gonna dip my spray into my hot glue skillet. I just want a little bit of glue, okay? And slide this down in the back. Oh yeah, it's got good styrofoam. I'm trying to decide if that's too big. I think that might be too tall. Oh. Let's cut this down just a little bit. Yeah, it's too tall, isn't it? So I'm gonna take mm, just a little bit off the back and let's try that again. Just a little bit of glue, I'm gonna slide it down in the back. Okay, that is so much better. Let me move some of my things out of the way so you guys can get a better look at what I am doing. Maybe you guys just a little bit closer. 
and angle you down some. There we go. So, cute little spray in the back. Let's do the other one. So here's the deal with this marshmallow. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is broken. I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. Let's put the other pick in the back. When I make things like this, I make them at the same time so that I can say that I have a quantity of two in my um, Etsy shop. I could easily do SMR crafting. Is that where I'm quiet? Because I could totally get on board with that. Okay, I spread them out just a little bit. I'm going to cut off about an inch and a half on the bottom, just like that. Turn it around, make sure we clear a spot for this cute little guy. Just a little bit of hot glue. Oh no. Okay, let's try a different spot. There we go. Awesome. Just a little bit of height back there. You got your order from Craft Outlet today. The delivery guy needs a back adjustment. Let me tell you something. I just spent, I just spent this morning ordering a ton of stuff from Craft Outlet, a ton of stuff from Sims. I mean, a ton of stuff. I ordered boxes for all of my Christmas orders that are gonna be going out. My husband is in charge of picking up all the boxes. He is going to have a fit when he sees how many I ordered. He's also in charge for, of bringing home my Sims order. He's gonna have a fit when he sees that how big that box is too. <laughs> You're positive you went crazy ordering Christmas supplies for all your wreaths. It's so easy to do, it really is. I um, tried to be very intentional this year ordering my stuff, but it's really hard. By intentional, I meant I like went through my orders from last year. I paid attention to what sold well, and I ordered things to remake those things. I ordered supplies to remake those things, so that's what I meant by being intentional. I'm going to touch each one of these cute little balls. You paid for every piece of this, so we really want to open it all up. He should never know. I know, but he knows. He knows because he's in charge of bringing the boxes home. <laughs> but he's also very supportive of my business. He's very proud of how much I have gotten it to grow. I love that my children brag on me. Especially my oldest son. He's like, yeah, my mama runs her own business and she does really good. <laughs> so we have it this big. Now, this big is too big for this. So let's take this apart. Does anyone know how to make candles placed in a log? Um, no. That would be really cool, though. It seems like you could um, purchase something that would look similar to that. I'm gonna pull these apart. I'm pulling this pick apart so that I have some little pieces to put in my teeny tiny arrangement. You're very welcome. Okay, there we go. Let's pull this last piece apart. So who out there is a wreath maker? I know I've got some wreath makers out there that are watching, like my friend Tammy. Um, or who just likes to watch people craft? Because I like to do that too. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to add some of these pieces around. Let's get a really tall piece to put down in the middle. You're a maker. Thank you from Las Vegas. I appreciate you saying that. Now here's the deal. This cute little snowman is already jam-packed with a lot of things. 
there is not much real estate in here for me to put cute little pics, but I'm gonna try really hard to squeeze them in there. You just started making wreaths. Well, welcome to the wreath workshop. You love to make them, but you're not a full time. Well, thank you. I'm gorgeous. You are too kind, my goodness. You make your own and you've learned a lot from me. Well, thank you so much for telling me that. I appreciate that. So I'm a former kindergarten teacher for those of you that are just joining. And um, I always say, if I can teach a five-year-old how to cut with a pair of scissors, I can teach you how to make a wreath and a bow. Oh, your Walmart doesn't have the Cardinal. I'm so sorry. It, I was not impressed with what my Walmart had. I'm gonna go to another one. Hello. Okay, is that? That's Maine, right? M N is Maine, correct? <laughs> Let's put some of these in the back. It's really hard back here for some reason. Let's put some coming off the other edge, the other side. I'm just spinning it around and giving it just a little bit more. Okay, so I have, it's hard for y'all to see, I know, because it's all kind of blending in. Yes, I will be selling these. I have one stem in the front, and I have one stem on each side, okay? Let me do the other one. I'm trying to make these at the same time so I can list two of them. I can't believe we're doing Christmas either, but I am here for it. Hello from, oh, I just missed my friend from Texas. Cut and Shoot Texas. <laughs> That's an awesome name. Let me take my tag off. I got these at Michael's after Christmas. They were like on sale, sale. Are there certain days that I try to do lives, Tammy? I try to do lives. I need to make a set schedule. So I try to do a live on Monday morning at like 10 or 11. I'm Eastern Standard Time for those who are watching. Um, and I try to do a live one afternoon, either on Wednesday or Thursday, but I haven't been super, I haven't really been sticking to my plan because it depends on what the children are doing. You know what I mean? I need to get with it. Craft Outlet has lots of Cardinal stuff. That's awesome. I need to go check it out. Listen, I just spent so much money at Craft Outlet earlier today that I don't really need to go check out Craft Outlet. And if y'all have seen my ribbon racks in my warehouse space next door, um, then you would be amazed at all the ribbon that I have. I may have a cardinal ribbon. I need to go check it out. Okay, let me do one more of my little picks. Hello, local fuzzy cat lover. Merry Krimma. <laughs> okay, so let's add, let me switch to my second one and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to take one of my tall pieces and put down in the middle. Let me clear a spot. I do not usually get burned with my hot glue skillet, but today I did. Oh my goodness. Hello, welcome. I'm gonna put one on this side and on this side. Just trying to even out. Oh my goodness, I can't see. There's so much goodness in here already. Okay, let's do one on the other side. Trying to find some real estate. So again, I have one in the middle 
and one on each side. Hello from Canada. You don't have a fantastic selection like we do. I know that makes me so sad. I bet you guys are like, why do they have all the cute stuff? So here's our two little arrangements. Now, I brought these in because they're candy and they're so cute. Hold on, let's see. I'm just gonna stick it down in here and just see. I was thinking that would be too much, but that's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm gonna add those. Mm -hmm. What are the cute snowmen marshmallows? These are um, ceramic. They are from Sims Pottery. I ordered them months ago. I don't know if they would still have them in stock or not, but I like to put cute little things in my Etsy shop. We call them shop fillers. So yeah, all right, let's add these because those are adorable. Let me cut the tag off. These little candy pieces came from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, why do you have to have such sticky price tags? Anybody else agree? And they put it right on the plastic, which is going to, there we go, got it. These were 99 cents last year. I bet you anything they're a dollar more this year. That is a great idea, Catherine. Catherine's given tips on how to make the logs, the three logs, the candle, three candle holders in the logs. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it right down in here. Just a smidge of glue. Oh, drat. Hold on, I gotta cut it. There we go. I don't want a lot of glue. If you use a lot of glue, the glue's gonna puddle. And then it's gonna make this really hard circle on the top of the styrofoam in your cute little arrangement. And then nothing else is gonna go in there. And we're not about that life. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, I like how these candies mimic the shape of the first candies that were in there. Okay, let's do this one. Let me fight to get this off again. So I want you to keep an open mind when you are out and about shopping. Like when you're at Walmart and you see a cute little arrangement that's got some things in it and you think, oh, that looks kind of skimpy, you can add just a few pieces and make it super, super cute. Oh, these tags. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's twist the let's twist the peppermint back together. I'm gonna spread it all out. Just like that. Where did I purchase my materials? So these little ceramic bases came from a wholesale company called Sims Pottery. I bought them months ago, like June, July. And um, so they started with a base with lots of stuff in it, but they just needed a little more zhuzhin. So that's all we're doing. The rest of my materials so far, they've come from Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So this marshmallow is, is broken. I'm gonna twist it around and kind of put it in the back. And then I'm gonna put my little pick on top of it. You didn't miss much. We're simply just adding some little extra pieces to these cute little snowmen.
Let me make sure I'm getting it down in here. Sorry, guys. I'm struggling a little bit to get it down. There we go. Okay. Cute little candies. Cute little candies. Hello, Dublin, Ireland. Welcome to South Carolina where I'm wearing fall, but working on Christmas. All right, now the next thing I want to do is add teeny pieces of greenery because I think they need just a little, maybe just a little bit of greenery around the edges. If I can squeeze it in, there is not very much real estate left. This little container was pretty packed with goodness before I started adding more so we may not be able to get much in but let's see what we can do I love these little bushes they are like mini picks from Hobby Lobby last year they were $3.99 this is all from my stash they were $3.99 last year probably gonna be $4.99 this year so if you have a lot left over from last year good for you good for you now let's whoops let's see how we can pull this apart okay so it's wrapped in paper which is fantastic because that means you can just pull it apart just like this which is a good thing one piece, three little pieces. Perfect. Now let's see if they will go in. Let's see if they'll go in our little arrangement. Because I think it would be really cute. Mm, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna to try to put it on this side. So this is the back. I'm gonna to try to squeeze it in back here on this side. Let's cut this at an angle. So it has some sort of point to go in. filling out the back part. Let's do the other side over here. I gotta find a hole first. There we go. Perfect. Who out there decorates with snowmen for Christmas? One of my aunts does, and she would love this little arrangement. This would be a perfect little gift to give like a coworker or to send to someone you love and miss. Okay, the back, that looks, we're gonna put this back here. That looks sad. You have lots of them? Oh, a lot of you do. Okay, let's put this last piece back here. Just so the back of our arrangement doesn't look quite so bleh. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's do this one just like that. Oh, this little candy is messed up. Let me give this a little twist. There we go. So we're going to add one of these little bushes to this little arrangement. And then we're going to decide if it needs a bow. You bought another cardinal ribbon. That is just seven eighths. Should I hot glue 
to another or just add with the other ribbons. Tammy, what I would do is those cute little ribbons like this, I would just put it on the top of your bow as you're making it because they're really pretty. Just put it on the top of your bow so everyone can see it. And it'll add just a little touch of pattern and color, okay? Let us pull this apart. I think I got these after Christmas on sale sale. At least I hope I did. Where do I sell my arrangements? I sell all of my um, products on Etsy. You can find me on Etsy. I sell wreaths, bows, tree bows, wreath bows, lantern swags, tree toppers. I love making tree toppers for Christmas trees. Okay, so one on this side, one on this side, one in the back. What is the base? This is just a, I should have taken a before picture. Oh my gosh, I always forget to do that. This was a cute little snowman arrangement that had these little picks and the little marshmallows and a couple of bits of greenery in them. And I'm just adding some goodness to it to make it bigger and prettier. You can find me on Etsy by going to the link in my profile here on TikTok. You can go to my TikTok homepage, click that link. There'll be lots of stuff to choose from. One of those things is um, going to my Etsy shop. So you can find me there or you can go to Etsy and search for three, the number three, because I have three children, three little green ones. You can do that. You get a little bit of glue, just a little bit. And, oh yeah, I found a spot. You're welcome. I'd love for you to check out my store. Let me know if I can help you decorate your home. Also in my link in my profile, there is a free bow tutorial. There's the Christmas wreath workshop that we did last week that you guys can still get access to. There is where to buy ribbons, where to buy wreath supplies, all kinds of good stuff. Let's put this one over here. So I'm making these at the same time because it's easier for me to do that. And now I can list this as a multiple and say that I have two of them in my Etsy shop. I love this frosted eucalyptus. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. We have to get to a football game tonight and I need to make sure that I de-glitter myself or people are gonna be wondering what I'm doing. You keep hearing bad things about Etsy taking too much money. Have I had problems? No. There is no way I could drive as much traffic as many people that go to Etsy there's no way I could drive that many people to my own website. So I think Etsy is a great thing. It's where people go to buy high quality, expensive wreaths, which is what I make. So I love Etsy. It's the only place that I sell. So you should try them out and decide for yourself if you like them or not. Okay, so. Adorable. How cute is that? The back looks better all around. Now, let's see. Hope they keep getting stuck together. Julie has two Etsy shops and you absolutely love it. Me too, girl. Someone else says they sell on eBay, not crafts, and you don't worry about the fees. Just go to make the money. Me too. Me too. Yeah, they do charge fees, but they're a business just like we are. So yeah, they're just going to do that. They are really cute. Now, I don't think we're going to have enough room, but let's just imagine, okay? You have trouble with people finding your shop on Etsy. Any tips? 
yes, you need a business coach, send me a direct message and I will share my business coach's information with you, okay? Is Etsy better than eBay? I don't know, I've never sold on eBay before. But I do love Etsy. Okay, let's see here. Hmm, so it would be really cute to have a bow coming out right here. Let's make one and then see. It might be a bust. So I make all of my bows, even these teeny little bows on an Easy Bow Maker, okay? Because I just don't have enough strength in my hands and I have some carpal tunnel to that um, make him a scarf. I thought you said make him a scar. <laughs> I think it would cover up his cute little face if I did that. Let's make a bow. It's probably going to be way too big. I'm going to make some really long tails. These are going to be way too long. But that's okay. We can always cut them. I'm making it in my Easy Bow Maker just to hold it all down. All right. So. Let's hope I don't run out of ribbon. I'm gonna give it a hard twist so that the back is on the front. Holding it down in the middle. Let's do some four inch loops and just see what happens. Here's the thing, if you ever make something that you don't like, you just pull it apart real fast. Or get some, get a warm hair dryer and loosen up the glue and pull it apart. It will be okay. So this ribbon came from Hobby Lobby and they actually have a red pattern too. So it's the same pattern, it's a polka dot on one side and it is a stripe on the other. Super cute, just something little. I'm running out of, I think I'm gonna do one more loop. Hold on. There we go. Twist it all the way upside down. If you wanna learn how to make a bow on an easy bow maker, I got a tutorial for you. I'm gonna do one more loop because I have enough ribbon. And I don't like to waste my ribbon. Okay, now, now what am I gonna do? Hold on. Let me see if I can find. I'm gonna use one of my pipe cleaners. And I'm just gonna bind it with a pipe cleaner, okay? So I'm pulling it up really carefully. Pinching it in between my fingers. Yes, this is it, Ty. Thank you. I misspeak a lot. I have a little bit of dyslexia, which means I misspeak often. Let's take this off. Okay, so here is our cute little loopy bow. The zip tie has everything in place. Let's see what we think. Oh. Tammy says she got 50 yards of white with red polka dots. Yes, girl, I love me some 
white and black ribbon. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Someone says it's too big. It is kind of big. It is a little big. Let me just see here. Just trying to hold it up. Oh, it's way too big. <laughs> but it's really cute and I'm gonna hold on to this for another project. Cause I love these bows. So I just tightened it with a zip tie. And what I was going to do is, I was actually going to put a steel pick on the end of my zip tie once I cut it to length and then put it down in my styrofoam. So that's how I was planning on using it. But you're right, it's too big. But it's really cute, so I'm holding on to it. All right guys, so we just took a cute little arrangement, a pre-bought, pre-made arrangement. It was very cute. Added some greenery, added some candies to the front, some of these little ball picks from Hobby Lobby. Added just a smidge more greenery and the tinsel picks to the back. And we took something that was okay and made it super, super cute. So now I have two of these cute little things to add to my Etsy shop. So I want you, as you are shopping in Hobby Lobby or Walmart or wherever, if you see a little arrangement that they have pre-made, but it's looking kind of sad, think about picking it up, adding a few more embellishments to it, and making it your own. And you can gift it to a friend, you can keep it for yourself, or if you're an Etsy shop owner like me, you can use it to fill up your Etsy shop. We call these shop fillers. So I think this is adorable. Super cute. Red and white are really, 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 really trendy, okay? This original little ceramic base came from my wholesaler that I use called Sims Pottery. I love them. They are packing my super huge order that I just ordered today. I bet they've already got it halfway packed. It is so cute, I love it. So if you would love to learn more about wreath making, I am your girl. If I can teach a kindergartner how to cut with a pair of scissors and write their name, I can teach you how to make a bow and a cute little arrangement and a wreath. I'd love for you to click through to the link in my profile here on TikTok. It'll take you to a landing page with all kinds of goodness. There's a Christmas wreath workshop that you can join and learn how to make that beautiful thing. That's a big swag. You can learn how to make that beautiful thing. There was a grapevine read tutorial in there. So much goodness. They're all video downloads that you can watch over and over and over. There's a free bow tutorial teaching you how to use an easy bow maker. There's where to shop for ribbon, where to get read supplies, so much stuff. So I would love for you to sign up for something and get on my list so that the next time I go live, I can send you a message to let you know when I'll be here. All right, everyone, I'm getting ready to go to a football game, wearing my fall shirt. Y'all take care and have a great day. Bye, everyone.